to talk to the camera. Why do I have to talk to the camera? Okay, fine, I'll talk to the camera. Hunter's going to talk to the camera. Damn to hell. Well, this is the, uh, the wheelhouse set, such as it is. Um, we're uh, three quarters through building the, uh, the, the superstructure. We still have the back hatchway to go and the wild wall, but we have constructed the skeleton of the lattice, which will be the window. The, uh, the ship's wheel will be right here. Um, there's some dressing and detailing that, that goes up over the, uh, the roof, but we're actually going to let Phil's basement play as the roof of the wheelhouse. We're not going to be shooting up into it. What's interesting is Phil is shooting the video right now, and I haven't asked him, but uh, we're going to use my pink sprayer and paint all of this black. Unless, of course, Phil says no. Well, well do you know, I, I don't think I actually live here. That's true. So, you know. We've been debating that. <laughs> so, yeah, see, Phil also. Um, well, here we are. This is the. This will be completed with the green screen, obviously. Let's see. No, no windows, but look. This was Hunter's idea. He wants this to be a bartending stand. When uh, we have the wrap party or the premiere item. But don't let me be the bartender. I'll drink all alcohol. Yeah, but right. it'll be back. fake, so I, I don't think you'll have a taste for water, alcohol. Oh, no, we're talking about for real. No, for the wrap party. party. This is going to ah. be a bar. So, yeah. Yeah, there's power back there. We'll put a mini fridge. and. Uh, so, so what kind of drinks did they have in the steampunk era? Well, that's a good question. Cider? Well, cider is very <laughs> old. Well, Ale. beer, yeah. vodka. Bartender, give me a shot of cider. Uh, uh, all, all men are whiskeys. So any any oak barrel fermented. Wild beer. turkey. That's what they had back in steampunk land. Well, since this is our steampunk world, you can have some type of wild turkey. It's wild yeah. turkey. Actually, you know, you need you, you we need to contact wild turkey and see if they can give us like a um an like a like an eighteen hundred circa bottle. That's you know, not a bad idea. Like, Actually, see if we can get some product placement. You know, this entire movie was built on wild turkey. Actually, if this movie were we're building wild turkey. The set would not be as straight as it is now. It would, be no, it, it would, it would all look like that. It would be very skewed. Yeah, it would just be a bunch of crap laying on the ground. But uh, yeah, this is the uh, this is the set in situ. <laughs> the deadly air gun. Yeah. Um, this is the first of a few, uh, two sets, maybe three that we're gonna have to yeah. build. The um, the other half of the room is going to wind up being a uh, an office, a period office, circa 1880-1890. Period. Yeah. And uh, of course, we'll be filming Sloss Furnace, and uh, hopefully, it'll be reasonable weather. It won't be 150,000 degrees. It's going to be hotter than the surface of the sun. <laughs> and if it's not, if it's and not, we're going to wear leather. Yeah, and if it's not hotter than the surface of the sun, it'll be colder than, than Antarctica. And that, Antarctica. Antarctica. That'll that'll be okay. I get to clomp around in my uh, my steam powered mech suit at uh, Sloth. That'll be cool. Uh, so lots of work to do. So what do we got over here? What is this a, a picture of those what are, the visual the, set's uh, going to be like? Three D renderings of the set. Uh, you've got a three quarter uh, perspective, and uh, it's a and a perspective elevation of the front. And there are already some minor adjustments from the. Uh, 3D rendering, but we've got it actually fairly close. I was going to point this out that uh, these uh, these coves, which are these these coves here, are uh, exactly the way that, that these were built, and they're curved and three-dimensional, and they are what give us the uh, the sense of a sort of a, an airstream trailer kind of shape to the room, which is really what it's what it's going to look like. It's a loaf of bread, basically. You've got curved corners. Great. It's a bread airship. So, so this film is actually going to be done in 50 years. 51. Ah, excellent. Zero prospect of 18 months from, from inception to wrap of special effects photography. I think this will take less, but not a whole lot less. This might be, we might be able to do this in nine months. <laughs> He said nine months. He that doesn't months. include the last now, 12 months of prep work. It's now documented now. It's documented, so. Much. I know, it's wildly optimistic. But uh, we don't have as many miniatures to do, and we don't have as many effect shots to do, as far as that goes. Zero Prospect was all about, the entire movie was a spaceship flying through space. We cut back occasionally to some actors sitting in a set. Oh, we actually have actors. Yeah, yeah that's, uh, 
that's troublesome for Hunter. He, does, he doesn't like working with actors or people. Or yeah, I don't like breaking. You have to sit at things. And it's it's all about me. I mean, a dear prospect, I, the, Brian was just all about me. Me, look at me. Talk to me. Help me. I am on fire. So Brian Put is me now out. out of the picture. Me, me, me. The yeah. dolly's on my foot. Get my foot out from under the dolly. I'm bleeding. Me, 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 me. Yeah, well, you know, I'm a Sounds diva. like Jen. Yeah, I'm a diva. Anytime I'm in some serious physical pain or... Well, it's, it's funny to him, but it's not very funny to me. Or if I'm just uncomfortable or... There's glass in my eye. Yeah. I'm bleeding. Yeah. I am 